distance makes us stronger. <laughs> deep, deep, deep. Violet, you're turning violet, Violet. Yeah, hi, Halo, you're just a beast. <laughs> Hello. Ha, friends and family. Top of the morning to we wonderful people over there. Oh my gosh, I got that all messed up, whatever. <laughs> Top of the morning, folks. I'm down here in the snake room with my little Tusha Musha. I thought today we'd take a look at some of the snakes. I gotta do a bunch of cleaning and I would share with you all of the snakes that have shed because lots of, <laughs> okay, glad, she, glad we put some underwear on her today. Often there is at least a snake or two that has shed here almost every day. So I figured we'd pick whichever one that is and, and show it off in its freshness. And also I wanted to see how she's gonna do because we came down here the other day and she's still, although she was very brave after after having that initial bite, she's still she's been a little bit like like yesterday. She didn't want to hold a snake, which was a first for her ever. So I she did say that she wanted to come down to the snake room. What are you doing? Are you trying to show off how your bite's looking? You can see there's still a little bit of light bruising right there, but other than that, it's it's good. Hide your nippy tea. Hide your nippy in there. <laughs> but I just kind of wanted to let her decide I'm what tough. what's going to happen. Yeah, you are tough, T. You're definitely tough. Um, I just wanted to give her the chance to, to decide. You know, I'm not gonna force anything on her. I did ask her if she wanted to come to the snake room with me and she jumped off the bed like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I said, yesterday, she didn't want to hold a snake, which was a first. And when I was pulling out one of the indigos, she was like concerned, is that is that Junior? What? It's a big snake. <laughs> yeah, there's some big snakes in here. One thing I maybe have mentioned, didn't mention, I don't know uh, if I did or not, so I will again. We, we're just being very much more careful. Um, making sure that she's not having any chickens beforehand of course and then also well we're just going to kind of let her decide what she wants to do really and then try to yeah you got a little bruise i know t i, I know you okay i'm tough oh yeah, we all know how tough you are t yeah there's no nobody's denying your toughness okay we all know you're super tough also before I'm we get Leia. you are leia that's right I'm hey Daddy. hey hey leia what do you know? I know. Big snakies. Big snakies? Yeah. What about big snakey? Um, they're alive. They're alive? Anything that else? Big one, they're alive. Yeah, that big one's alive? They're all alive. Yeah. Anything else about big snakies? Frog. There's a frog. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what ribbit. I know. <laughs> yeah, big frogs go ribbit. Before I start cleaning the snakes, I wanted to uh, give a quick feature your friend as we've been doing. Ooh, I've been doing it consistently. I'm doing so much consistent stuff now. I'm so proud of myself. I even today, guess what I did today? I went for a bike ride and then I came back, did some yoga because I've been having headaches these past so couple sweaty, days and uh, just from like so neck shoulder sweaty. tension. So I've been. Yeah, I'm all sweaty from yoga and bike riding. I'm just trying to take good care of myself and stay active, especially since I haven't been drinking coffee anymore. Whatever I can do to stay active is, and keep moving in the morning. The bike ride I found was, was just that. And we have like crazy amounts of hills out here. So a bike ride around here means that you're working, which is good. Good, good, good. Okay, oh, feature of friends. Sorry, I'm totally space cadet right now. My boy Zach Nava, who has just started a YouTube channel. He's got his first video up, and I think he's going to do some good stuff over there. I'll put a link down in the description for his channel. Zach also happens to be one of our Patreon uh, supporters, and we had a nice Zoom meeting the night. Had a great conversation on Zoom. We've been doing that with Patreon. We've been having Zoom meetings um, every week, or almost every week. It's not a live stream, but more recently, Zoom meetings are happening every week. If you guys want to come check it out, it's very inexpensive. Uh, we're starting to have guests too. We've had on Dave Kaufman. We had on my buddy Garrett, Garrett Hartle, who's also actually a Patreon supporter. He was the one that convinced me to start Patreon in the first place. And uh, all that information is down in the description. If you want to join us for the Zoom meeting, it's pretty fun. We just sit back, chat about snake stuff, um, current events, whatever. We just hang out and chill for an hour and, and chat. It's cool. Oh, look at that. First snake that I go to clean, and there's a big fresh shed in there. And it's Halo, our most gentle snake ever. So. She's also big. We'll see how this goes. Monkey, you want to see the shed? Look, that's her, that's shit, Halo's skin. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> what? Oh 
nice shot. You'll be in the Yeah, you're okay. Good shot. Yeah. One thing I'm doing and being very careful of is to, even though I know Halo is the most gentle snake ever, I'm just, the, 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 the last incident has caused me to just want to be extra cautious, so I'm just making sure I have full control over wherever Halo's head is, but well, I guess she's not afraid to touch a big snake still. <laughs> Good job, Tuki. Nice work, team. Hard work. I'm a hard worker, guys. Yes, you are, T. Ha. Well, that was a success. I guess yesterday was just a fluke. Ha. I'm going to so much, guys. Oh, I love you too, T. You, you know what's more dangerous than any snake in here is how dangerously close I come to smack on my neck on this fan every time I clean Halo's cage. She's always the first one I come clean in the morning. It's like... <laughs> that's close. Look at that beautiful girl right there, man. Just a freaking fantastically beautiful snake. Especially after a fresh head like that, huh, Halo? You're just a beauty. Just a beauty. I've never seen her tuck her tail that in that fast by herself. Usually she'll hang her tail out there for like a half hour all day long if I let her, but she put it right away. Good job, T. I'm gonna give you the props to that one. Oh, got our second shed already. And this, of course, is our rescued super dwarf. <laughs> Elvis, what are you singing, T? Elvis, the super dwarf with the fresh, fresh shed. Focus on Elvis camera. There you go. Oh, he's looking so nice, T. You gotta love those classic retic colors, man. The blacks and yellows. That black is just so deep. Such a deep, 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 deep. You remember that, Riley? <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Third shed already. Violet, our <laughs> get in there, T. Get in there. Our uh, purple passion ball python laid a nice clutch for us last season. She's looking fantastic. Still fresh shed. There she is. Say hi, Violet. Hi, Violet. Violet, you're turning violet, Violet. Spoiler alert: next video is going to be a freedom breeder. I just want to say that that reference. Later that night, Hillary was like, I want the kids to watch Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. She had no idea I had said that earlier in the day. It's just kind of funny how our minds are synced up. Okay, that's enough. Back to the video. I don't hurt so much. Oh. Back up? Yep. Ooh, that's a baby one. Yeah, baby one. Oh my gosh, right above it. Third, another that snake shed. This that? is incredible. Another snake shed. I kind of can't believe it, guys. Uh, this is Bernice, our super fire girl who just laid a clutch. She's got one of her clutches in the incubator right now. So nice, bright, white super fire. She should have some uh, fireflies and firefly lessers coming out of the clutch she laid. Yeah. And there's dad of the clutch. Super pastel lesser. He didn't, he didn't shed, but he is, he is the father of that clutch with, with Bernice. One sec, T. One sec. There he is right there, see? The sheds just keep on coming, guys. I'm, I'm blown away by how many sheds are just coming out today. Wow. Wow. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> You're silly. This is, this is Desi. She's our... Third generation of snakes here. She so we 
So our fire clown that passed recently, this was her granddaughter. Man, this whole episode is gonna be about snakes that had sheds. I was expecting like three. Do you wanna hold this snakey while I clean up the, um, while I clean out the cage? No, oh sorry, I said I wasn't gonna ask. You're right, I said, I forgot. Sorry, I forgot yet. I forgot, I know, I forgot I said I wasn't gonna ask you if you wanted to and just let you choose, okay? My bad. So I don't know what you guys do when snakes shed. I picked this little tidbit up from Matt over Olympus Reptiles back a, a while back. Um, every time a snake sheds, I clean that. I do a full enclosure clean, substrate change, all that. Look at that stuff. And the cocoa blocks is chunky. <laughs> oh, I see what Jesse gets all hyped about now. Get your cocoa blocks. All right, this is just getting a little ridiculous, honestly. I mean, this is the <laughs> this. I just, the next snake I pulled out and freaking uh, our children's python, uh, fresh shed and a fresh poop. This is honestly just getting to be a bit ridiculous. I was not planning to have this many snakes to shed out. We don't wow. usually. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at that snake. Last one, I promise, because this is the last snake that we're cleaning. Uh, this is popcorn, <laughs> our corn snake. Who this snake actually has bitten more people than any snake here, I think. No, that's not accurate. I'm, I'm so full of non facts all the time. I, I don't know. That's why it's just a vlog, not a facts channel. Nothing but the facts, ma'am, if you can remember them. Corn snakes are so cool. I always wanted a corn snake when I was a kid, and I finally got a genuine corn snakey. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sweaty. Oh, yeah, I am definitely sweaty tea. I think it's high time. I went and took a shower before I take that shower. I think we need to journey into the complaining corner I will complain about anything uh, Today I'm gonna complain about the other members of my family in this household. It's getting hot. It's starting to get really warm Summertime is approaching. It's not here yet, but it sure feels like it and it costs money to cool the house off and keep it at a, a livable temperature of 80 degrees and not 95. And when you leave the doors open in the house, it makes it a lot harder to keep it cool. And for whatever reason, people in my family think it's cool to just leave the doors wide open all the time, constantly. I'm like, close the door, close the door, close the door, close the door! <sighs> solution stool. T, are you gonna join me on the solution stool? All right, T, so solution. What are we gonna do? I'm sitting. You are sitting. What are we gonna do to get these family members of ours? Uh, you don't really open doors too much yet, but I'm sure we'll be going through it with you. How are we gonna get everybody to close the doors so that we keep the house nice and cool in these hot, hot days? Huh? What's your solution? We need a solution. <laughs> I got a solution. Close the door! <laughs> You guys see that boat way out there? It was huge a little bit ago, and it's disappearing into the fog. Oh, finger. Finger! And I We came down to the beach, you can kind of see the three stacks right behind Eli here. You see those three stacks? Hey Eli, duck real quick. You can barely make them out in the fog. Three stacks and a rock, Morro Bay. I took a shower and then I got a lot of computer work done and then I was like, it's hot. It's like 95 degrees over there. It's crazy how you can just go 10 miles from where we're at here to Morro Bay and it's literally 30 degrees cooler here. Sometimes it's even more drastic and you can almost guarantee in the summertime that it's gonna be 30 to even sometimes 40 degrees cooler, just 10 miles over here to the coast. You guys have any weird weather anomalies that happen where you're at locally? Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear about some interesting weather stuff. Like it's almost a guarantee. I knew it was gonna be cool over here. I didn't know it was gonna be socked into foggy, but I, I got a bite. No, that's just a, I mean, I could, that could be anything. I've got so many scars on my legs, it's ridiculous. Oh, are we going that way now? No, this is pretty rocky over there, bud. It was just gonna be Leia and I. I tried to get Noah to come and Noah's just being a dong, 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 dong all day. And then these guys wanna like hang out on the deck in the pool, which is nice. But it's not as nice as the beach. I, I don't understand. Hillary usually is like 
all about the beach, like we can't live further than 15 miles from the beach type of stuff. And she's like, no, he's gonna stay there in the hot Atascadero sun. Peace their own. I'm gonna do a time lapse when we leave here so you guys can see it change from the fogginess to the the bright sun. I think it should be pretty cool. What do you know? I know. Um, scorpions. Scorpions? Yeah. What about scorpions? That they have stingers and it has venom in it. <laughs> and they have eight eggs. And <laughs> Do you have anything new for us? I feel like we've done scorpions like like probably 10 or 20 times. Do you have any, anything different than scorpions? And that's all I know! <laughs> <laughs> Weird. We've been coming down here, you know, every now and then while, during the shutdown just to check things out. And the big parking lot down by the rock has always been closed. And then this little parking lot here has always been closed. But now, now that parking lot is wide open. The parking lot down by the rock is wide open. But this little parking lot right here where we used to always park is still closed off. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. Anyway, let's get that time lapse. Well, folks, how was ye old time lapse? I haven't got to see it yet, so I have, I have no idea. And was it good? I'm gonna combine our last two segments, Who's Hungry? with Cinematic Snake Strike Saturday for you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna continue Who's Hungry because it never gets old watching animals eat, but sometimes it gets old filming it, let me tell you what. But I'm gonna do it right now, combine the two. I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Are you ready? I truly hope it was everything you hoped it would be. I bid you adieu. <laughs> See you next time, guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other.